It was a very severe uh, collision. It was a head-on collision. Um, the, the damage to, to the vehicles involved was extensive. And as I said to you before, to give you an idea, the engine from the vehicle, the wrong way driving vehicle, was thrown, uh, was cut, was severed from the vehicle and, uh, and, and thrown from that vehicle, landing in the woods some distance from the collision point. Do we know where the mother was coming from at that hour? No, we don't have that information. That is something that we are looking to uh, get answers for, but we don't have that information at this point. Major, do we have any idea how long the sheriff, I know he pulled away, but the sheriff was following the way through his lights on. Was it a quick burst? I mean, he, he was quoted as saying he sped away, she sped away. So do we know how long the sheriff uh, That is uh, information we're looking to gather. What I can tell you is that the sheriff's department was nowhere near the, the, uh, the vehicle when the collision took place. Right. Five miles was mentioned. Was that how far she traveled? We don't know exactly how far she traveled yet. Uh, there are some uh, pieces of information which indicate that that vehicle may have also been driving wrong way, the wrong way on the Sunrise Highway. So uh, the point of that five miles is that this collision occurred five miles from that intersection. Is the wrong way driver a local Long Island resident? Uh, they're from Centerport, New York. The uh, press uh, alert said mother under the influence. So was she given a field sobriety test? Was, were there indications that she was under the influence? Can you share uh, That is definitely something that we are investigating. Yes, she was given uh, some field sobriety tests. I'm not going to get into the results of those yet. What I can tell you is that she has not been charged, but that doesn't mean that she won't be charged. Can you say, was she up and around?